Next up on Nick and Night, Week now up there at El Niro, and then after that there are two shows the Nick and Night uh, could actually get at the last minute. That's right now on Nick at Night. Now, Spex Bar Ken uh, has his fan edits, the Vakas with his movie night has his movie night program, Never Five Nine has original anti videos and gameplay, so it's lots of his uh, commentaries. Uh, Marvin the Maniac, Dr. Blood Studios, and Cassie Dragon. They have well let's be honest, they got some uh, interesting videos, alright? I don't know how uh, to really describe them, but hey, what can you do? Now it's time for everybody's favorite opening uh, segment of any late night show ever. What's up? That's right. Tonight we ask, what's up with Denzel Washington, a man who has been in Hollywood longer than the Hollywood sign? Uh, come on, it's true. Now, according to a recent website story, this is true. He has only done one movie sequel throughout his entire career, and that is The Equalizer 2. Really? Well, Cisco and Ebert uh, would have been so pleased. Now, he was also applauded by a lot of people about his movies, you know, his other movies. Of course, Entertainment Weekly ranked every one of his films. Let's listen to uh, some of uh, Entertainment Weekly's uh, rankings. Huh? Man of Fire, number 10. Flight, number 7. And Malcolm X as number one. He needs to work harder than that if, uh, if that's the case. Although, let's be honest, you know, uh, speaking of uh, Malcolm X, uh, it's February, of course. I mean, it's uh, Black History Month. And, you know, uh, you know, I gotta say that, you know, it's important for all of us to know uh, about our past. Because if you can't uh, learn from your past, then you can't really uh, do anything in the present that will uh, that will lead everybody into the uh, the future. All right. Now I know that uh, that sounds a little odd, and I apologize, but sometimes you gotta do it. Sometimes it's necessary. Now, uh, MP and uh, Gregors, let's do the top eight list. Let's see where we're at. Okay, what is the category this evening, gentlemen? Alright, tonight's category, or this morning, if you're watching this uh, from somewhere else, Top 8 Rejected Denzel Washington Movies, number 8, Egged, number 7, Pitsland, number 6, Get the Mud Out, number 5, The Globes, number 4, Tight Inside, number 3, Swinging, number 2, The Shells, and number 1, Are You Crazy? Well, I must say that that's pretty intense, isn't it? Well, I'll be right back. The kids still call it the week now update. Now, here it is. Your bottom line. So this one's for Iron Man. Spoilers! Then the Lorax. Spoilers! So in the end, George Washington... Don't. Die. Spoiler! <laughs>
the phone wondering if you're ever going to call. You know you need new carpeting, and you must know where to get the best value. Empire's prices start at $6.95 a yard, installed with padding, delivery in three to four days, credit available with no installment payments for 60 days, free Bissell shampoo with two rooms, even a free T-shirt with any order. So how much longer am I going to have to wait? 588-2300, Empire! Ah, maybe this is you. Empire. Edward Scott and the boys. Hey, how are you doing tonight? Doing fine. How about yourself? I'm all right. I'm doing fine, thanks. Sure. Yeah. Why? Well, doing the what's up uh, thing with your little uh, outfit. Well, uh, not really uh, tonight uh, per se, but uh, last week, yeah, I was a little out. Why? Well, last week I, uh, I made, uh, several mistakes, and you know how, uh, it is, right? Yeah. Hey, you did all right this evening. Or this time? Yeah. But you know what it's time to do. Yep. All been done. You got it. Let's go. Oh, boy. I don't really need backup. Let's talk about it. 1808, BBC, before you, before you come there, all the chickens and lickens came together. They did this song. 808, nail for the NPR morning after you night down with time today. And, uh, you know how it is, right? Talk it time, talk it time, and you're just rushing, you're rushing, talk it time, 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 we really don't have everything under control. So, let's uh, talk about Denzel Washington. Now, for those of you who don't know, you know what? He doesn't really do a lot of sequels. Alright? And, and here's why. Alright? You know, because apparently now, you know, uh, first time uh, he, did, uh, he did the Equalizer, it was sort of uh, a big hit, you know, actually it was, uh, you know, it was based on a TV series of the same name, you know, and he did uh, the, the character uh, Robert uh, McCall, or Bob McCall, was a uh, former DIA agent. Now, here's the thing, alright, you know, it had mixed reviews, but went on to uh, earn under $92 million. $192 million worldwide in the box office. Now, that was 2014. About four years later, you know, like he reprised his role in The Equalizer 2. That was ah! the only time he made the sequel. When asked why, he said, I haven't been asked. The only time I, I've been asked was for a safe house. But that didn't make sense because my character had died so they were talking about people and I was asked for inside man but this one just made sense you made me think hey wait a minute if we're just uh, picking walls uh, because they made sense and how come you know what uh, one thing uh, that made sense only made 190 uh, million dollars uh, worldwide you know, uh, why did, why didn't that, uh, uh, why didn't, uh, movie franchise that's only made 
less than $200 million worldwide in the box office. Uh, it's like uh, anybody has been, you know, magnificent. You know, it just makes no sense. You know, and when people ask him to do a James Bond uh, character, he said, no, I don't need to. I got Equalizer already. Which he has already done twice. Twice. You know, so, that, of course, uh, doesn't make any sense. And now, you got to uh, think about, uh, you know, what are uh, some of his uh, best movies? Well, apparently, Entertainment Weekly uh, did the work uh, for us. And here are some of those uh, movies in question, okay? You know, this might not be uh, everybody thought, but here we go. Now, one of them in particular was this movie entitled... Hang on, let's get this right. Oh, Man of Fire! Which uh, also starred uh, then a ten year old uh, Dakota Fanning. How did Dakota get uh, How did she get uh, dragged how did she get uh, dragged into this whole thing? Don't ask. Alright. You know, and then you got you know what, he got gay. Which It's, uh, you know, it doesn't really make uh, any sense, uh, you know, to begin with, because it's uh, a basketball film, but what can you do? And then, well, actually, you got the American Gangster in between those two films. Then you got Flight, which, of course, is all about, you know, flying and things like that. You got Fences, The Hurricane, Glory... Philadelphia, Training Day, and Malcolm X. Now, people seem to remember uh, Training Day more than Malcolm X, not only because of, uh, of the fact that he was nominated for an Oscar with that movie. Alright, the Malcolm X uh, stuff, you know, uh, it was basically about uh, Malcolm X who was uh, fighting for... Uh, or who was fighting against, I should say, racial injustice. You know? And apparently, uh, the Oscars uh, didn't really care about that at all. Well, they care more about that now, but they didn't uh, back then. You know, that movie came out in 1992. He made that in 91 and 1990 or something like that. So. What can you do? What can you do? And again, I apologize for mentioning that, but you know, sometimes it's what you gotta do. Not uh, perfect, but hey, this is the least that uh, we can do. Now, tomorrow, now on the program, messing up again. Tomorrow now on this program, we will talk about Margot. Robbie or Margaret Robbie. You know, I don't know how we're going to deal with that, but we're going to try our best tomorrow night. Wednesday, we're going to talk about Zendaya Coleman. And on Thursday, we're talking about Ray Romano. And then on Friday, to uh, begin uh, your Valentine's Day weekend uh, festivities, we're going to deal with Ray Garrett. And with us will be Nef Up on 9, Emmanuel Gaffney. We're back again on the slash Swagger Vortex on TVVA Studios, Blowy J2 Exclamation Mark, Diamond Dark Emmy, and a debut of Rocky Bro 10. Alright? Now, I know that it's going to be uh, one uh, crazy week, but we're going to do the best we can, alright? We're going to try our best, alright? Please don't uh, jump on us or anything like that, but hey, what we do? So what we do. That's the news. I'm out skis. For all by for all. Get in your favorite chair or snuggle up with your teddy bear or tuck yourself in and turn out the light. Time for good TV with Nick at night.